Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna talk about the difference between a line of fit and a line of best fit. And so let's talk about what a line of fit is first. Well, number one, lines of fit and best fit are dealing with when we have a scatter plot. So we have some data, we have X and Y, two uh, pieces of information that are being compared. And what we can do is plot those points on a graph. And if they don't exactly form a linear relationship, they're not exactly in a straight line, the slope is not constant all the way throughout, maybe there is some kind of linear relationship that is being formed. And, and that's the idea here. We're able to informally place a line that would best fit our data. And so number one, we wanna create a scatter plot of the data. And we're gonna do this on the right side of the screen. We have a little bit um, of, of data that we're gonna plot. Then we're gonna draw a line that closely appears to follow the trend of the data. And when we do this, we wanna draw a line where we have approximately the same number of points above our line as we do below our line. Then we're gonna choose two points on the line. And um, preferably these are, these are two points where the graph or where the line crosses at a nice intersection on our graph and we can tell the coordinates of those two points relatively easy. It's not always gonna be the case, so sometimes there is a little bit of error um, either way, but that's why we're calling this a line of fit. And we're gonna talk about how do we get the best fit in just a minute. Then we're gonna write an equation of the line that passes through those two points. And we have a couple different ways we could do that. We could use a slope intercept form or we could use point slope form. So let's look over here on the right and let's plot this information. So we have minutes walking as our X variables and calories burned as our Y variables. So we're gonna plot this information and we're gonna write, um, we're gonna plot our graph or our, our points and then we're gonna draw in our line of fit and then we're gonna find the equation. And then they want us to estimate when X is 15, what is Y, okay? So let's plot these points. This would be like one comma six, so maybe right in here, 627 about right here, 1150, right here, 1356, about right here, and 1670, okay? All right, so now if we draw a line through these points here, say about right there would be okay, All right? So we have two points that are below the line, we have uh, three points that are kind of on our line here. And so what we could do is now take a look at our graph and let's find a couple points where the graph crosses at a nice intersection, okay? So I'm thinking that we've got this nice point right here, which is actually one of our data points. It doesn't have to be. And possibly this point right here, which is four comma 20, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write our equation through those two points. So we have 420 and we have 1670. Now we're gonna find the slope between those two points. So we're gonna take y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, and we get 50 over 12. Okay, so now we can divide that to find our slope. So 50 divided by 12, and this is gonna give me, um, and we'll say 4.2. So my calculator says 4.16 repeating. So we'll just call it 4.2 for right now. And so now what we have is we have our slope, right? So this would be our slope which is m, and now let's use point slope form to write our equation. So we have y minus, and, and let's use this point right here, so y minus 20 equals 4.2 times x minus four. So now we have y minus 20 equals 4.2x minus, and let's do 4.2 times four, and we get 16.8. And now we're gonna add this 20 over here, and we get y equals 4.2x plus so we have negative 16.8 plus 20, and we get 3.2, okay? So this would be our equation that would represent our line of fit here. And what they want us to do is figure out what y is when x is 15. So if we go back up here, we have y equals 4.2x plus 3.2. We wanna plug in 15 for x. So 4.2 times 15 plus 3.2. So 4.2 times 15 plus 3.2 and y is gonna give me 66.2. And so now what that tells me is, after about 15 minutes of walking, we're gonna burn about 66.2 calories. Okay, so that's how we can use a line of fit. Um, it's very informal. There could be lots of different equations that we get just based on uh, which points that we use and where our line is, but that's why we call it just a line of fit. Now let's talk about a line of best fit. So how could we do this better, right? Because that's what, that's what best is. It's, it's better than the non-best, right? If that makes sense. So in order for us to do this, we have to use technology. And the one thing that we're going to do 
is use our TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. And so I have a video already on how to use the scatter plot and linear regression feature, and I'll link that in the cards right now, but we'll go ahead in this video and talk about how to do that. So the line that lies as close as possible to all the data points is our line of best fit. And this is called the linear regression feature on the graphing calculator. So what we have here are two scatter plots and we're gonna go to our graphing calculator and we're gonna plot these points in our calculator and we're gonna find the linear regression or the line of best fit. So on our calculator, we're gonna go to the stat button and we wanna hit edit. So we go to enter and that's gonna bring us to this L1, L2 screen where we have um, the ability to type in our coordinates. So if I look at my first example one over here, this would be like one comma one, two comma three, and then we have three comma two, four, three, four, five, six, three, and six, four. All right, so those are just the, the coordinates that are plotted there. So on my calculator in L1, those are all my X values. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, four, six, and six. So I just type those in and hit enter. And now I'm gonna type in the corresponding Y values. So that would be one, three, two, three, five, three, and four. So I'm gonna check that, one, one, two, three, three, two, four, three, four, five, six, three, and six, four. Great, now I'm gonna hit graph, and we should see those points pop up. If they don't pop up, you can go to Y equals on your calculator and just make sure this plot one is highlighted. Um, if it's not, it might look like that. And uh, we wanna make sure we go up to it and hit enter. So now when we hit graph, it shows up. So now what we're gonna do is hit stat, and we wanna go right to calc. We wanna go down to the fourth option that says L-I-N-R-E-G, that's linear regression. Notice it's AX plus B. Uh, number eight there says A plus BX. We don't want number eight, we want number four. So we go ahead and hit enter. Now we're gonna go down to calculate, hit enter one more time, and it's gonna give us the information we need. So our equation is gonna be Y equals, and A is our slope, so 0.42X, and B is our Y-intercept, plus 1.44. Okay, so that would be our line of best fit equation for that example. Okay, now for example two, we're gonna go back to stat and edit. And now to clear this, I'm gonna go up to L2, hit clear and then enter, go over to L1, clear and enter. And now we're ready to type in our points again. So let's write down the coordinates for example two. We've got one comma five, we've got two, four, we've got two, three, we've got three, two, and three, three and then four, one, and five, one, okay? So my Y values, I'm gonna type in one, or excuse me, my X values, two, two, three, three, four, and five. And we're gonna type in one comma five, two, four, two, three, three, two, three, three, four, one, and five, one. Okay, now hit graph, and now we're gonna do the same thing. Stat, go over to calc, down to the fourth option, go down to calculate, hit enter, and now we have our information. So we have y equals negative 1.04x plus, and let's call this 5.68, okay? So that's the difference between line of fit, which you can do by hand, and line of best fit, which we need our calculator.